welcome back. It has been a good hot minute since I did a pantry clean out and a fridge clean out video. So this next week, this is the last week. Yes, <laughs> this is the last week in May. So my grocery budget is zero dollars. I'm not going to the store for a thing. I'm going to clean out my freezer. I got a lot of like half empty packages. Just It's a mess. Like when I open their freezer, just random stuff just falls and hits me in the face because everything's oddly shaped and there's like so many bags of half used stuff. It's, it's, it's such a mess. I'm gonna make meals out of things I can find in my freezer, out of things I can find in my fridge. My cabinets, my pantry. I'm gonna live off of all this stuff I have in the home already. <laughs> because it's, I need to clean it out. It's been too long. It's, I don't think I've did it this year, actually. And it's May. Oh, yeah. I'm late to the game on this one. I usually do it like every couple months. I ain't did it this year. Lord howdy. No wonder it's such a mess in that freezer. Good grief. But when I do these zero spend weeks, and I like to show you guys the ideas I try to kind of come up with, and I hope to inspire you to look around your house, you know, try to see what you can come up with, the things that you have. I don't want to show you guys the lunches because they are so boring. <laughs> I don't tend to try very much in the lunch section because I don't know it's easier to do it that way like if I find random tuna I'm gonna make a tuna salad sandwich and we're gonna have like something else that we find a uh, applesauce pouch you know it's so boring I'm not gonna show you the lunches unless I I get gumption one day and I'm like yeah I'm going to make something crazy for lunch. I'm not. It's like, honestly, I'm not even kidding you. It's probably going to be like grilled cheese, mac and cheese. We like cheese, obviously. <laughs> or tuna salad, egg salad, uh, scrambled egg sandwiches. I'm telling you, it's boring. But I make... During these weeks, I make lunches like super simple so I can concentrate on trying to use up things and anything I can to make really good dinners. So that's what we're gonna do. And this is day one. I gotta get this kitchen. It's so, y'all wanna see my freezer? I'm embarrassed. It's so bad, okay? It's so bad. Like, I don't usually show everything that's in my pantry and freezer and fridge. I show you as I go. But just so you can understand the messiness that is my freezer. I'm going to show you my freezer. Just for fun. Let's show you. So, I went to the freezer to try to find stuff and it avalanched on me. Hi, it's me, George. Let's take a look at the mess. You see, we're avalanched. So, the first thing I found was random chickens. We got chicken breasts we need to use. Two breakfast sandwiches. I don't know why this one is rogue. These are the ones that I made like a month or so ago in the shorts, the, the scramble with the sausage and eggs. Or talk, Brooke. These are the best ice creams in the world, just so you know. <laughs> I had to have one. I seen it, I had to have it. We have some Southern Tail Chicken Bites. I didn't like these. These tasted awful. Um, so, I don't wanna waste them. I'll find something to do with it. We have some pork sausage. From Ingles. I got this on clearance for $1.52. Pretty dang good deal from that. Diced peppers. Two half used bags of garlic bread. Why did I do that? <laughs> Another pork sausage. I didn't know I had two. Two Trader Joe Naki a la Florentina. I got this. 
couple months ago, actually. I don't know what's up here. I thought this was in the deep freezer, so I think maybe this will go back down there. I don't know. A random popsicle. Two random juice bars. As a Trader Joe's fried rice. This stuff is bomb, y'all. One burrito. I don't worry about this. It says cocktail sausages. We can use those Smokies. I use like half a pack for something and the rest are in here. I forgot about these. I need to use them too. Cauliflower rice. I think this is leg quarter. Two hamburger patties up here. Uh, pork roast. Some more peppers. Two pounds of hamburger meat. Hey, I forgot about these. Chicken tenders. Tortillas. Onions. Yes, more peppers. Because apparently when I don't use a whole pepper, I chop it up and freeze it. I'm like, I'm gonna use this next time and I forget it exists. Yes, more peppers. <laughs> Half used container of broccoli. More cauliflower fried rice. My cute ice cube trays. They're stuck together at the moment. Stir fry beef and Cube steak, cauliflower fries. These are actually pretty good. Philly like cheesesteak steak. Some veggies. I have some more Texas toast. I did have another one of these and I turned it into garlic bread. And I turned it into garlic. I turned it into garlic bread. Ma, I can't talk anyways. And I put this in the freezer so I could turn it into garlic bread and it's just sitting here till it and living in the sauce. Okay, we have some Beyond Chicken Tenders. We have some peppers. <laughs> another ice pack. Another ice pack. Some sliced carrots. Um, and my veggie broth bag. That's what I got in the freezer. I ain't even gonna show you my refrigerator because that's just too much. And I ain't gonna show you my cabinets because that's just awful. But just know I got such a mess I got to deal with. We got to clean this out. We got to make some food. So let's get to it. I forgot to show you my fudge sickles. It's for the kiddos and me. My hands are frozen. <laughs> I'm going to put both of these in the crock pot. And I'm just going to slow cook them so I can have just a ton of shredded chicken to make a couple of different things with. I got my handy dandy little crock pot here. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Put her on low for eight hours. And these are frozen and that's totally okay. I'm just gonna drizzle this frozen block with olive oil. And sprinkle some salt. Some pepper. Some onion powder. A lot of chicken. Some paprika. And some garlic powder. I think that salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika are like the basics. The basic seasoning. The OG. The original. For seasoning anything. That's why I, it's my go-to. So to me, this is kind of like a semi-seasoned blank canvas and I can turn this into anything. So now I'm just gonna let her slow cook for eight hours. See how much chicken it makes us. She is done. I let it cook for eight hours. I'm just gonna shred everything. And I'm leaving the juice in it as well because the juice is gonna help keep it moist. Cause I'm gonna be using this for multiple dinners or lunches this week. So I'm just gonna, it's so tender that I'm just doing this and it's falling apart. Sometimes I use my hand mixer to shred it, but it's really unnecessary to get it out because it's so tender, it's just falling pieces. I'm gonna finish shredding this up and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna make with it. So what I think I'm gonna do, Braden has asked for this. We have some tortilla chips. If they're not stale, I'm gonna do this. These have been opened and sitting on top of the cabinet for like three or four days. So hopefully they're not stale. If you're seeing this, then it's probably not stale. <laughs> I have a good old mater. 
I have a little bit of lettuce left and a rando bag of cheese. I think I'm going to be lazy and do like nachos, chicken nachos. And of course, I always have sour cream or the crema, the Hispanic style. This is starting to be my favorite. This is stuff is good. I think that's what I'm going to do. Usually when I make this, I put a little taco seasoning in the chicken. I think this is good. I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Because this chicken smells pretty seasoned. So I think I'm not going to do that. I have some of the tomatoes diced up. Hopefully, I'll have this left over and I'll make something with it. Um, I chopped up some of that lettuce head. And I'm going to go ahead and put it together. All right. There we go. Shredded chicken nachos. Yeah. Looks good and smells good. Let's see if it tastes good. Okay, Bray Bray, give it a go. Let me know how it is. Mmm. That's pretty good. Day one pantry dinner down. All right. Day two of cleaning out the fridge and pantry and all that. Uh think what I'm going to do is something that I actually haven't done in a really long time and I know you guys know what it is and I forgot it existed I don't know why because it's so good going to the pantry grabbing one cream of mushroom this is all the Ritz crackers I have I bought these at that sharp shopper that I showed you guys the other day and they're all individually packed so I want to get a few of these I thought all of that shredded chicken, cream of mushroom from the pantry, all these Ritz crackers from the pantry. Now, the recipe I use, I use regular sour cream, but I think the only difference with this and regular is this is thinner and it's more spreadable. So, I'm going to use this because this is all I have. We're going to do chicken Ritz casserole. I'm sure a lot of you know what this casserole is. I'm going to use all this chicken. I mean, I could probably use half. But I'm hoping this will have some leftovers for tomorrow's lunch. Because this stuff is really good. So, I have all of that shredded chicken. This is like the easiest casserole ever. I'm going to add the one can of cream of mushroom soup. Actually, I'm going to try to get everything out of it. And we're going to do about a cup of sour cream. I'm eyeballing it. That's probably half a cup. So that's a cup and it's already seasoned chicken. So, so Dusty's gonna say, where's the salt? And if I do that much salt, I can actually say I put salt in it. I don't like a lot of salt, but he does. <laughs> so just gonna mix this up real good. I'm so excited for this casserole. I forgot it existed. And I was trying to think of recipes that you could use shredded chicken with. And this is the first thing that popped in my head. And I was like, oh my gosh, Brooke. Why didn't you use that before? Because it's so dang good. <laughs> so, I got my little casserole dish here. And I'm just going to pour this in it. That is a lot. This will definitely have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Maybe for even dust for break at work. Oh, she thick, boy, she thick. I'm sorry. Normally, you don't have these, <laughs> but it's all I have. Crush them up and sprinkle. Your Ritz crackers on top. I 
Okay, there we go. I'll clean up my trash in just a moment. Now I'm going to mount like a half stick of butter to pour on top of this. And now we're just going to, we're just going to drizzle that melted butter. I did like a half a stick on top of the crackers. It doesn't have to absolutely cover, but try to get it across the whole casserole. And now you just cook it on 375 for about 45 minutes. Now for sides, I think I'm gonna use some of these carrots and an onion and I'm gonna dice them up and roast them in the oven. I don't know about another one. I might just do mac and cheese just to make it easy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do some mac and cheese. I've showed you guys this before, but I don't peel carrots the traditional way because I'm bad at it. I peel the carrot away. So I just scrape the skin off like this. It's a little messy, but I don't waste carrot this way. So it's fine. And I'll wash the carrot after I chop them up real good. Just slicing up my carrots. Now I'm going to wash them. Love you. Love you. Now I'm going to just dice a little bit of the onion, not much, just to help it with flavor. Did you see what I just did? Don't do what I did. Lord have mercy, Brooke. I have my onions and my carrots in a bowl together and I'm just gonna drizzle olive oil, salt, And pepper, and that's all they need. This is so simple, and they're so tasty. Just gonna bake these on a cookie sheet, same temp as the casserole, until the carrots are soft. So three seventy-five. And I can't tell you the time because I just checked the carrot and I'll tell you when they're done. I would say 25 minutes. Chicken Ritz casserole, done. Mac and cheese, simple, easy, done. Roasted carrots, done. May not look like a lot on there and that's because Colin doesn't eat cooked carrots. <laughs> and dinner is done. There's the Ritz chicken. Okay, boo boo. Yep. Promise. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Day three of the pantry challenge. I didn't have to cook because my parents had a cookout for my little sister's graduation. So, whoop whoop, didn't have to cook tonight. Yes, you're not imagining things. I'm in the same shirt as yesterday. It's, we're deep cleaning the basement, like purging all the junk we have down there. And I forgot to record the first part of this, but I'll show you, it's, you didn't miss much. I had a whole chicken in the deep freezer. So what I decided to do, I put her in this cool Dutch oven that someone sent me because they are so amazingly nice and awesome. 
and I just seasoned it up with, I seasoned it up with onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and what else? Oh, a bay leaf, two bay leaves. And then I covered it in water and I let it cook for 90 minutes. Now that's the point we are at now. <laughs> let it cook on 350 for 90 minutes. So I just tested and it's done. So look at that rich broth that we made. I'm gonna take the chicken out, debone it, and we're gonna make some homemade chicken and dumplings today. I got out my chicken, and yes, I boiled the chicken in, well, roasted it in, boiled it, slop. I don't know. It cooked in the oven. Okay, I'm just gonna debone it. See that? Look at that. Look at that good chicken. I'm gonna throw it in the pot that's sitting over here as I do it. Very tender, very tender. Oh my, I'm making a mess. Don't do as I am. I made a mess. I didn't let it drain all the way. It's fine. Okay. This is either going to be the very best chicken and dumplings I have ever made or the worst. I haven't decided yet. It is oval shaped, but it's fine. I have it sitting on my stove and I'm bringing it to a bowl again. And right now I'm gonna be making my homemade dumplings. I don't have measurements, I just make them. I had to go to my stockpile downstairs, my pantry, and get me some more self-rising flour because I was out up here. I'm gonna safely say this is about five cups of self-rising flour. I, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna throw a couple of pinches of Crisco in here because we need a fat. I would say that's a half a cup Crisco. Break that up. Yeah, I mix my dumplings with my hands what my mamaw taught me to do. Okay, just pour a little bit of milk in there and you start mixing it together like this. Got a fourth cup more. And I'm gonna see what this looks like. Okay, see that? That's the consistency of dumplings that I like. And yeah, I do it with my hands because that's what my mama taught me to do. I don't know if, I mean, my hands are clean, so it's fine. And I'm gonna take spoonfuls and dollop. Do not stir your dumplings. They will crumble up in the tiniest bits. Do not stir. Now, I put a little bit of salt in here and a lot of pepper. All right, so I'm just gonna take a really giant thing and smush down the dumplings. I about overfilled it. I made a ton of dumplings tonight. Get in there, my little friends. I'll let them cook with a lid on for about five, 10 minutes. They're gonna be scalding hot. I ain't started the sides yet because these are gonna need about half an hour, 45 minutes to get cool enough to eat. I decided to be lazy now. The only thing I am making for the side is corn on the cobs. This came from the garden last year. Dug it out of the deep freezer. We're good to go on the corns. I mean, I don't think making chicken dumplings is lazy, but <laughs> after making this, I got lazy. And this is the chicken dumplings. See, all that chicken and ow, it's hot. See, it's full of chicken. There's like a whole chicken in this baby, and that's a lot of dumplings. We're gonna have leftovers. Well, I don't know. Ryder is addicted to chicken dumplings. We might not have any leftovers. 
I'd actually take some to my Uncle Chris if you want some. I think Vicky likes fluffy dumplings. See all that chicken out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More round of the dumplings. That's just, look how good, I'm proud of these dumplings. Look at all that chicken. These are gonna be so bomb, y'all. Technically, when I think about it, tonight's dinner was made with strictly pantry items plus that chicken, and I paid like $3.92 for the whole chicken. Corn garden. That's it. Look at Shopping sales is awesome sometimes. His favorite food ever, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. This is good. Okay, enjoy. Right. Give it a go, Bray. Mmm. That's really good. Thank you. Mm. Give the dumplings a go. <laughs> Hi besties, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you know about tomorrow's dinner. Um, so tomorrow is Memorial Day and Dusty's family is coming over and we're gonna have a little bit of cookout, but I told everybody that I have enough spend week, so they are gonna contribute to the cookout. Um, I think my sister-in-law Brandy's bringing pasta salad and things like that. I have a bunch of hot dogs in the deep freezer. I have hamburger meat up here, like two pounds, and I want to turn that into some chili, and I'll show you guys how I'm doing that. The best chili you'll ever have for hot dogs. Um, I already have like toppings like ketchup, mustard. In the deep freezer downstairs, I think I have three rolls. Of hamburger meat that I found at Walmart. It was on clearance for like two sixty six. So I think I'm gonna get all that, set it out, let it thaw, and I'm gonna patty out hamburgers for that. I have cheese already, and I have a few potatoes over here. I might go ahead and make some homemade tater salad. I have eggs because you know I'm chickens, so I think I might do that as well. But I have um, a couple of people that's bringing hot dog buns and hamburger buns because. You know, I'm, I'm on a no spend week. So that's a good, that's another good thing. Um, if you guys are wanting to have cookout or something, everybody can contribute, not just you. It really helps. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And I might make some homemade baked beans. I have everything to make homemade baked beans. Peppers, hello, <laughs> you know about them peppers. And I have onions in the freezer. I have my homemade pork and beans that I canned myself. And I always have brown sugar. I have bacon pieces. I always keep that in my pantry. So I think I can do that as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a really good cookout. Oh, and you see that watermelon there? I hope it's still good. That watermelon has been sitting there for I cannot even tell you how long. How long has that been sitting there? A week? Week and a half? Surely it's still good, right? Surely. I did buy it to feed to my chickens, but I was like, no. I'm going to eat this watermelon. I'm going to save it for the cookout. So, yeah. Ryder said the watermelon's still... Oh, my eyeliner is running. Um, or my mascara, not eyeliner. Ryder said it felt good, so... We're good? Should be. Okay. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Right here, I laid out some I laid out some hot dogs I had in the deep freezer, patted out some hamburgers that we had in the deep freezer, some hamburger meat. And over here is those two rows of hamburger meat I told you about, and I'm gonna make homemade chili. Funny story. I fell down my basement steps <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, I know. Goofy, that's why I look like doo-doo on Memorial Day, but let me show you something. Yeah, I'm dusty, <laughs> but it's not bad. Um, it's just a slight tear on a ligament. They said they didn't see any broken bones, but just in case I have to go back in like a week to do another x-ray to make sure. But you know, hurt like the Dickens. But um, because of this, and I am a limited mobility at the moment, <laughs> 
I don't want to make anything else like the potato salad that I had planned. I don't, I don't want to do it, but I do have like a big box of those wise chips that I bought at Sam's club a couple months ago downstairs. Honestly, that's going to be the sides tonight, but we are going to have hamburgers, hot dogs with homemade chili. I'm making homemade chili and all that. So yeah. <laughs> um, also, I am sitting in Caitlin's old rolling walker that she had. <laughs> that she had when she had her transplant. She had to use one of these. Um, and I'm borrowing it because the crutches hurt my armpits. So, um, for today. Hopefully, I can walk on it better tomorrow. But I'm fine, y'all. I'm fine. I'm just clumsy. I literally, literally, y'all, I rode. <laughs> I didn't even make a noise. I didn't even make, I, my voice did not project. I was so silent. And Dusty was at the bottom of the stairs. I was coming to get him for dinner last night. After the chicken dumplings, yeah, that's when it happened. I was coming to get him for dinner, and I rode downstairs. He never got to eat dinner last night. I went to the ER. What we're gonna do first is cook up this hamburger meat. It calls for one and a half pounds, but I just threw both pounds in there, the whole two pounds, it'll be fine. Like, you know, it's it says that you need to use one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, but this is just regular ground beef, I think. So, we're fine. It grows a little uneven. I don't like it. I'll have to fix it. I diced up the rest of this lettuce. The rest of it is, you know, it's fine. So I got all the good stuff off of it. <laughs> we got tomato slices. Let's just scramble up this hamburger. When it's done cooking, I'll drain it. Then I'll show you the next step on making the best hot dog chili. All right, when you have cooked and drained your meat, add two cups of water. Pre-measured that. Drained kidney beans. Um, where's that? <laughs> Eight ounces of tomato sauce. I like to use the ones with garlic and onion powder in it already. One package of the Lipton Beefy Onion Soup. And I'm gonna eyeball about six tablespoons of chili powder. There's a recipe on the back of the Beefy Onion Soup mix. It's kind of like this, but I made it my own. I didn't think it was good enough, so I did this. Now, I start it up, and I'm just gonna let this simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, stirring it so it doesn't scorch, and it'll get thicker. I also chopped up a little piece of an onion, probably like a third of an onion for toppings. And there you go, that's the best chili in the world. I promised the boys I was gonna make this today, so that's why I made this, but I'm not making anything else. Are you excited about the chili? Good. And y'all, yes, I'm totally fine to finish filming this video. It, I'm just shorter than normal. <laughs> I do think tomorrow, though, Dusty and the boys are going to take over the last one so I can just chill out one more day. Lazy sides. <laughs> These big boxes, it sounds, come in handy, let me tell you. And I know I have one more day left on this pantry challenge, cleaning it out, but I haven't made a dent. So I think I'm gonna postpone my June series for like another five days 
and I'm gonna do one more pantry clean out because I need to clear some stuff out of here because I didn't really touch nothing. Dusty fried some bacon that he found uh, in the deep freezer. He cooked it on the griddle. There's hamburgers. Chilling. I did not purchase these. Yes, that's awesome. Um, also, we're gonna open that up and make sure it's still good. <laughs> and he grilled the hot dogs. Okay, besties, it's me cooking dinner tonight. Dusty said that he wouldn't cook. He, he told me to get over it. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, I am getting sick and tired of sitting down. So, I'm cooking. I can't help it. It's driving me nuts. Okay, I gotta get this pantry cleaned out. I may be slow about it, but I'm gonna do it. Remember those two halves of garlic bread? That helps clear out some space in that freezer. So, cooking that. My little old pantry had two half used packages of spaghetti. Like, why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know. I could have used a whole one. I'm gonna use these. Or we're gonna make, not spaghetti, I'm using tomato sauce and some of this heavy whipping cream. I have like this much left. It's gonna be kind of creamy. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic I have. Um, some of the easy onion because the kids don't see this. So I can use this. I think that's it. Maybe some, do I use Italian seasoning? Maybe some Italian seasoning. I don't know. We're gonna get this going, get dinner going so I can actually feel like I've done something productive today. And yes, besties, I'm still using Caitlin's roll later. I know I'm doing it in a weird way today. I, I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna get my noodles boiled up and then we're gonna start on that sauce. Okay, so I cooked my pasta and I drained it and it's sitting on our draining at the moment. I'm gonna put like two tablespoons of butter in here. You can either use an onion or Easy onion like me. Turn that heat down because I got it up too high. Got one of those garlics. Y'all see this cool thing that someone sent me from Camo the other day? See if it works. Cool. Did every bit of it with that. Now I'm gonna add 15 ounces of tomato sauce. Okay, now I'm gonna add the rest of this heavy whipping cream. Now, I have some Italian seasoning and I'm just putting probably a teaspoon there. And I'm gonna bring this to a bowl and then I am going to mix my noodles with it. And we're gonna top it with some grated Parmesan. I ain't fancy and got that, you know, the real Parmesan. I, I have the craft. Well, not craft, great value. Oh, I can't forget salt. Duh, Brooke. Alrighty. After she started coming to a simmer, I added my pasta and I'm just gonna simmer this all up together. I'm just gonna let it come to a little simmer, thicken up a bit, and then she's done and I'll plate it up. Alright. And here is our creamy pasta. I'm gonna put some Parmesan on top. And there she is. And I made all that garlic bread to go with it. Boom. Easy dinner, cleaned out my pantry. Do 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 do. All right, Bray Bray, give it a go. And yes, I am at a lower angle. <laughs> Mmm, that's so 
Bob. Thanks, homeboy. Love you. Love you too. I'm here. Hello, everybody. Um, <laughs> all right, that was my six day. Six days? One day I didn't get to cook because we went to a cookout with the family. But six days of cleaning out the pantry and I didn't make a dent. So like I said last night, I'm gonna do like five more days in a part two. So you'll see that probably Monday, Monday or Tuesday. And I already have food storage Friday for this Friday already planned, baby. We're gonna be, I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna surprise you. Yeah, because it's pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope if you try these recipes, I hope you like them. Just, I just threw things together. But it worked. I go to the doctor Thursday to find out if my foot's good to go. Or my ankle. So, cross my fingers, pray to the Lord that I just, you know, it's just a fluke. And it'll be better in a week. Please, Lord. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, I love you guys. Remember, as always, be positive, kind, happy. Let others be happy, and I'll see you later. Bye. I love you. I love you, bye.